we're live. We got Tumaj versus a. As anyone else could expect, this is going to be a really, really great match. These two players are of high caliber, and it seems that H2O is going Luigi this time, which is kind of not rudimentary of him at all, considering he's a Ganon cannon. I have no clue what this match is going to be like, but I do know <laughs> Luigi's kind of annoying, and Falcon is pretty badass, if you ask me. Oh, that was a great knee. You know, this can't be a real game. This really can't be a real game. I can't believe it, but hey, I guess. It happened a little too quick. It's best of five, so we can't take it too seriously, I guess. But I do think maybe... <laughs> maybe H2O should not mess around too much. I take it back, it's actually doing a pretty good job now. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Oh, completely misses that grab. Now he's slipping him back into the fitter position. Just tossing him back and forth. Not looking good. Yeah. This is good? Whoa, that was pretty cool. That's what happens. It's just a Luigi thing. It's so easy to just throw off and just camp up. Oh. Oh, the reverse knee. That's great. Good stuff. Seems that H2O is playing the little run around spacey kind of game. Uh, that's pretty much all he can do considering he has a huge deficit that he has to leap from. So, he kind of has to avoid literally everything, which kind of sucks. Something bad for him. But he's doing the best that he can do with what he got. Oh, that's. That should be a stock. I'm surprised not down airing. But hey, whatever works. Oh, completely just flubbed that one, that was too bad. And he should come back. Ouch. <clears throat> ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, now fessing around, he's gonna come back into Ganon. Or something. Huh. Alex. Okay. Whoa, Alex. What? What is going on? I heard a huge scream as so, if so some rat was dying and now we just <laughs> Alright now this is the this is the the game. Now I can commentate because now I know that this is gonna be a good game. <laughs> Not that it's Luigi's bad, it's pretty good. But now it's serious. And now we got a neutral. And as we all know, this is Probably pretty hard for Ganondorf, but yeah, yeah, considering yeah, yeah. that H2O is, is not unfamiliar with this matchup, he probably won't do as bad as, you know, I think he will. Then again, I don't see these two play too often, but, oh, that was good, that was good. that stock? Easy, easy. No big deal. Mm. It's too simple, too simple. Wouldn't that be Tom Bader we did it? Yeah. Just do basics, basics. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I play around. Right? Fairly interesting. I know these two players aren't completely going out on each other. It's kind of interesting. Okay. <laughs> it seems that they might be feeling each other out. Maybe it's just been a it's been a long a long week, I guess. Nothing too crazy going on. Just basic spacing, trying to feel each other out. I'm not too hyped for it, but hey, we'll see what happens. It's what the second game.
good now. Get back here. Oh, he reads the air dodge. That was good. What is going on? It seems that that play is in his head a bit. Most of the things he's doing is working. You know, it's the power of Captain Falcon. Once you're in someone's head, you know, you got the freedom to choose what you want to do. And Ganondorf is kind of stuck with whatever he can do, which is not good for him. Hence, maybe why H2O is kind of trying to fill him out. He's at a disadvantage, tempo-wise. And that should be the spot. Oh, that was great. Okay, still with the two stock. Got a one stock lead. A bunch of nares. Not enough bears. This is pretty interesting. Oh. 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 Is this a Ganondorf versus on Netplay's Falcon? Netplay's Falcon. So I saw the Luigi match, that was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was slightly discouraged to commentate with that Luigi on the field. <laughs> but, you know, now that we got an actual real match, I just don't know what to say. You it's alright, man. It's too early, it's too early to be commentating these two guys. H2O uh, is actually bringing the oh bringing the Ganon fire in this match. Oh, he just kind of lost it. Oh my <laughs> God! What was that? Well, just threw it away. But I, I know he can recover uh, from this. Hey Adrian, this is your phone. Uh, see Adrian taking a drink of water, trying to recalibrate himself. That was, that was pretty tough, you know, he had that. I know I've been playing uh, Melee too long, but, you know, I know how, how this game can be pretty self-inflicting sometimes. It can be a pretty acidic experience if you're not hydrated especially. But I definitely recommend you go get your, your water. And, Maybe from a good source. Uh, so we see H2O going uh, Samus. Uh, his Samus has been doing pretty good lately, so this is going to be pretty good. I just know it. <laughs> oh, spacing was great. Samus, honestly, don't think it's a good idea against Falcon, but hey, H2O knows what works and what doesn't work against uh, Pumaj, so let's see how it goes. Falcon just has a good, uh, good way of getting extra aerials on Samus that always end up being a knee at the end. Like, if he gets one up air, it's usually into a knee, but H2O is kind of playing this matchup really well. He knows, he knows his limits. Like, he's kind of just... Spacing really well, getting forward smashes. Oh, oh that's right there. That was great. Another forward smash, how did they even land? God. How, right. how would you describe Samus' as neutral and what the heck is going on right now? Probably the most patient neutral in the game. Like, Samus has some of the craziest tools out of everybody in the, you know, in the cast. And if you use her to her potential, she is so much better than people, you know, give her credit for it. That's why there's players like, you know, Doug, Hugs, 
know, all these great Samus players, club. Oh, that was nice. I'll bear to down smash. I know Samus has these missile shenanigan stuff with the platform. How, how do you feel that Samus performs on this stage, considering that the platforms are slightly weird? Well, that's a good question. I honestly think that Samus plays pretty good on these platforms, especially with against Falcon. Like, Falcon has a hard time with these platforms. So, you know, Samus has the high, like, she has the advantage on this match, on this matchup right now. But, Falcon can literally up air knee. Like, see how easy that, that confirm was? He can get a knee, and it's, and it's, two stocks to one. Oh. Now we're, we're getting a really, really, really juicy special today. <laughs> Down throw. Gets the oh. light knee, doesn't get the full knee, goes, grabs edge, oh good call. Oh my god. Oh, if you would have held it just a little oh, longer. Man. Wow. Alright, two stocks to one. Falcon, Pumaji needs to Whoa. get the oh, knee. Oh, how, 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 how? That was pretty ridiculous. That was clean right there. Clean stock from Pumaj. Down throw. Goes for a nair, kind of like a high nair. He was expecting the jump. He didn't. Gets a down air. Oh. Wait, he doesn't go for an up air. I mean, I'm a little surprised. Down throw, goes for the instant oh knee. I'm not sure God, what's going on. He's he playing his luck. luck. Oh, he has to grab ledge, grab ledge. Oh, no. no. Wait, Falcon, you can do this. No. Oh, oh my gosh, he can still do it. Oh nope, that's it. Oh. Cortez yeah. confirmed it. Go <laughs> confirm. <laughs> it's crazy, you can just hear his voice behind him. Um, all right. So that was game number three. H2O is up two to one. Now he's going back to Ganon. I honestly kind of see where he's going because if Adrian, if Adrian gets it down and just like bodies his Samus, he'll have momentum against his Ganon. Yeah. So now, now H2O is like, I got, like, I got a game. Now I have less stress. I'm just going to go my, my best character and just kind of space you out. If I lose, I lose. Whatever. I guess the, the whole... The whole game breaker for this matchup is pretty much who edge guards who, right? Like well, pretty much, yeah. Like if Falcon gets Ganon off the, uh, the stage, you know, it's basically Falcon stock. But Ganon can easily do the same thing. Honestly, this matchup really depends on how fast the Falcon is and how good he is against Ganon. Because it kind of is like playing Falcon Dittos, but instead you're playing against a heavy Falcon. Oh, that was a really, really good, really good name. Sixty-nine percent, Arizona. Let's go. Gets oh, the that double jump is just gone. That was a nice up there. Oh, goes into the edge. That was nice. Clean stock there by H2O. It's even, man. Uh, honestly, Adrian, he hasn't stopped going for these uh, hard reads. He's going for these really hard reads instead of just confirms like that. Gets in there, turns around, up there. You know, I'm noticing that Adrian is there, just a little air. more consistent with all of these edge guards. How do you... Up air, back air, wow, that's a stock. I have faith in uh, an H2O right Oh yeah. my god, that, that, that up air has to be one of the best up airs in the game. It's so clean, I mean, oh, oh. the nair to me. Did somebody order nair to me. Why do I feel that Gandalf is just so much more harder to edge guard. Like, what is that? Is it just me, or what's he's just going on? Scarier. He's just a scarier character. So Falcon. Like, he's so slow in the air when he falls, when he yeah. down beats. Beer? You respect him too much. Beer? Beer? Me? How about beer? The king of the darkness. Do you want to drink my beer? We'll trade. No. I have Pacific on the top of Or ask Tom if you want to drink. No, I'll have my beer. I have so much beer in there. Ryan, you play, uh, Adrian could definitely burger. do this. He could definitely burger. bring it back yeah. from the darkness of the oh, oh, guys. The high roll. He needs. Whatever the heck. He needs an up throw knee. He gets down here instead. Jason, double jump back here. Yeah. Reads the roll. Oh. Gets the knee. Okay. One stock apiece. We're still at even. Adrian has a chance right now to bring. Oh, it. that's. Oh man. Then I capitalize on it. Oh, that's Corona. This guy is Mexican. We got Adrian. Oh, my up air. Oh my god, that uh, DI was amazing. It's actually oh. wow, that jump. Nair. Freaking fool. Back me. air. It fooled everyone. Goes for another that knee. Nair. Oh. Knee. Oh. Light knee. Oh. Back oh. air. Mom. Back oh. air. Oh. Oh. Good stuff there <laughs> by Pumaj. 2-2. Two, two. Oh. Game five. Keeping the set count oh. even. This is the guy, oh, man. Yeah, He's a legend. Series. Going back to Samus, I don't agree with this uh, at all. All I'm going to 
gonna say is this is either gonna be a close one or Pumaj is gonna three stock him. We'll see. Have they played on this stage yet? I don't know. He's playing good though. Knee. Oh, double Nair. He's actually really playing the matchup well right now. His Samus looks like it's ready. It's a bad matchup for Samus though. His Samus has a lot of experience on this stage. I just I've never seen this matchup on this stage from these guys. I don't know how it's gonna go. Honestly, it cuts Falcon's combo game a little bit. Whoa. But confirms are still big. Wow! His timing is spectacular. Good missiles. Good missiles. His missiles All right. are, are so good. He needs to get a knee, or it's gonna be a rough stop. That is Samus. You kill her, or you're gonna have a rough stop. Hey, give her a, a rough night with that knee, man. Down smash, down smash, jab, oh, down smash. That's broken. It's literally rough already. That foot. Oh. How do you deal with Samus, anyways? You just gotta play more patient than her and beat her in neutral, and it's hard because she literally has the most patient neutral, and she can just kind of walk up to you, do nothing for like 30 seconds, <laughs> and then forward tilt you. And you're like, why? Because she had more patience. She got misses in a gun. But you just gotta be really cautious of all her hitboxes, and just you just gotta know know that her missiles are what she wants to do. If you cancel that out, then she's confused. Good Samus's man. Oh, They're tough. All right, three stocks apiece. Falcon can definitely take this stock. Oh, that missile. Oh, wow, ridiculous. the second there. He reads the all the way in. Goes drifts back. No drift back. He's gonna have to drift back in this one. He doesn't. Wow. Literally just forward smashed him again. Adrian can do this. He needs a. Uh oh. He needs a boom stock. Definitely. Boom stock. We're gonna coin that. H2O is definitely. Oh. Oh, not enough time. Back throw. Everyone loves that. Whoa! Oh, oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a three stock the other way around, and instead. This Pumaj is can a definitely do this. Stock. Pumaj can do this. Alright, so Pumaj needs to. That was good. He, he blocked his, uh, his ultra charge right there, his power charge, so that's not happening. Oh, Down smash, gets an up God. smash. He's just going for damage at this point. Yeah. Honestly, Samus right now, H2O, he kind of has his number, man. Wow. Forward air to, to reverse forward smash. Dash this, attack. This stage, I feel Little, like this stage is definitely doing something. Yeah, I mean, Falcon has a hard time on FD. I mean, you can tell he, he only has the ground. He can't go up. You know, he, he just he can really get walled out. Especially by a Samus like this, who's kind of just not playing campy, but he's just, you know, playing really patient. And every time they walk to each other, H2O would wave dash one way, and they know it was the right way to wave dash. Yeah, and then a while ago, we saw that H2O actually threw a missile, and he was running behind the missile, pretty much guaranteeing his approach. That's powerful stuff, man. FD.